Because of its name, you might think ringworm has something to do with worms, but ringworm is not a worm. It is simply a term used to describe a common type of skin infection that appears as a red ring on the skin. The infection is caused by a fungus. There are many fungi and bacteria on your body, some are helpful, others cause infections. You can get ringworm anywhere on your body, if you get it on your scalp, arms, legs, face, or torso, you will see ring-shaped red scaly patches. Depending on the location, ringworm is classified accordingly. The ringworm of the body is called tinea corporis. Symptoms may include a red circular lesion with raised edges, the center of the lesion becomes less red as the lesion gets larger, and the area may itch. Ringworm of the scalp is called tinea capitis, it occurs mostly in children and is very contagious. Symptoms may include a red scaly rash on the scalp, itching, and hair loss. There may be a rash elsewhere on the body. Ringworm infections on your feet or nails don't have the ring shape, because of that these infections are not called ringworm, but they're still caused by the same fungus. A ringworm infection in the nails is called tinea ungium. It can happen on the fingernails or toenails, but it's more common on toenails. It is more common in adolescents and adults. Symptoms include thickening at the ends of the nails and yellow color to the nails. Athlete's foot, also known as tinea pedis, is a type of ringworm that primarily affects adolescent and adult males. Symptoms include whitening of the skin between the toes and itchy rash, scales, and blisters on the feet. A ringworm in the groin area is called jock itch or tinea corporis. It is also more common in males. Symptoms include red ring like patches and itching in the groin area. Diagnosis Your healthcare provider can usually diagnose ringworm by looking at your skin. You may need a fungal culture test to identify a specific fungus and help determine the best treatment for you. During a fungal culture test, your provider may take a small sample of skin, biopsy, or fluid, aspiration. For severe infections, you may need a blood test. Most people can successfully cure their ringworm infections with OTC treatments. Many of these treatments contain the same antifungal ingredients. Some of the most common antifungal medications are listed below. First, clotrimazole. Clotrimazole cream or lotion can treat tinea corporis, tinea cruris, and tinea pedis. Clotrimazole stops the fungi from growing. When using clotrimazole, it is important to follow the instructions carefully. People usually apply the cream or lotion to the affected area twice per day. Most people with tinea cruris find that their symptoms improve within two weeks, but people with tinea pedis may not notice an improvement until around four weeks. Next, myconazole cream. People use myconazole to treat ringworm, jock itch, and athlete's foot. It comes as a cream, powder, tincture, or spray. People apply myconazole twice per day, and symptoms usually clear up within two to four weeks. There are also other topical options like luloconazole for tinea pedis, ketoconazole shampoo for scalp infection, and certiconazole for tinea cruris. Some tinea infections do not respond to topical treatments, and doctors prescribe stronger medications to combat them. Tinea capitis, tinea barbae, and tinea unguium almost always need prescription drugs. First, griseofulvin. Doctors usually prescribe griseofulvin for people with tinea capitis, or scalp ringworm, and tinea unguium, that is fungal infection of the nails. Next, itraconazole. Doctors may prescribe itraconazole capsules or tablets for people with severe ringworm infections in the toenails. Remember itraconazole can cause heart failure, so it is not suitable for anyone who has had a heart attack, irregular heartbeat, or any type of heart, lung, liver, or kidney disease. There are other several oral medications like fluconazole, terbinafine, etc. In severe cases intravenous administration of fluconazole and itraconazole may be given. Ringworm may be difficult to cure, and home therapies are not effective for ringworm. Make sure to see your healthcare provider for treatment. He or she will consider several things when advising a treatment, these include the location of the infection, and how severe it is, as well as your preferences. The length of treatment depends on where the ringworm is, and treatment may need to be repeated. 
Ringworm of the body, groin, or foot is often treated with an antifungal agent that you put on your skin. Mild cases of ringworm may be treated with an antifungal cream you can buy over the counter. Or it can be treated with a medication you take by mouth. In some cases a stronger prescription medication may be needed. Treatment for scalp ringworm may include medication you can take by mouth for 4 to 8 weeks or longer. You may also need to use a special shampoo. Depending on your symptoms you may also need steroids to reduce swelling, or you may need antibiotics for a skin infection caused by scratching. During treatment, it's important to bathe or shower daily. Dry your skin well and keep it clean and dry. Wear clean, dry clothing. Don't scratch the affected area, this can spread the ringworm or cause infection. Ringworm is contagious, so don't share towels, clothing, bedding, hairbrushes, footwear, or other personal items to avoid spreading it to others. Wash your hands if you touch your rash. Have your pets checked by a vet, they may carry the fungi responsible for ringworm without showing signs of infection. Ask your healthcare provider for other tips on how to prevent passing on the fungus. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support us if you find the content helpful, thank you.